What the f is this? It's just old, old chicken. chicken. Another old, but we're not using that, are we? No, but no. why is it here? We, there, it's 86. Do you know what really f***s me off? So no one's caring. There's so many things wrong. And yet everybody's in denial. Let me just show you something here. I don't want to do this anymore. This is so embarrassing. He's really going to blast us like that. OK, well, hello. Look at the refrigerator. I mean, shit, why do we keep stuff that needs to be thrown away? I don't know. It needs okay, to be thrown away, but I'm not the only responsible one. I've never seen this before. Every fucking fridge is full of fresh stuff and old stuff. Unfortunately, the old stuff's tainted the fresh stuff. So what you think is fresh is no longer fresh. And those poor fuckers out there are eating this. Okay. No, you can't. I'm not going to let you cook anymore. Yeah, that's right. You want to continue cooking? You think it's funny, do you? No. Elise, if anyone can walk past rotten food in a fridge and continue cooking fresh, you shouldn't be fucking anywhere near food. And then when I hear, oh, I've never seen that before, then open your fucking eyes! I just don't believe this. You know what happened to check things? I don't know what happened. What the fuck is this? Do you guys like this shit to drink it? Don't leave that is in there for so long. Look! Look in there! That's embarrassing! But we don't use it. I can't keep up with everything. I fucking babysit you like kids, and you still fuck me. I don't need to babysit. If I want to babysit, I go babysit my granddaughter. This is carnage. Yes. We haven't got our entrees yet. How long have those young guests been waiting for that? Better go. The order went in right around 6 o'clock. An hour and a half. Uh-huh. Burgers. You got one, two, three. Joe, can we try to save this? Four. Can we bounce back, please, Joe? We're, we're just waiting on, what, what do you need over here? We need an elk quesadilla. That's really what I need. OK, why don't you finish what you were doing? I'm doing the, OK, uh, I'll uh, do the quesadilla. Hey, what's up? We make this crap. I haven't got the appetite, Joe. I know, because you wouldn't come over here and say, you know, don't get it that crispy or don't do that with it. I mean, that's what, what we're looking for. What the fuck for. are you on? What the fuck are you on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't come over there and say, get that a bit crispy. An elk quesadilla, you want confirmation that it's a fucking good dish? When are you going to pull your head out of your fucking asshole? For a man that stands there and boasts about his fucking farm and his goats. And you want me to talk about this? <laughs> Seriously? Wake up, Joe. You're joking, aren't you? Are we making these two, are these, you know what I'm saying? I know you don't like the dish. It's disgusting, Joe. So you wouldn't give me any input on it? Get rid of it. You want me to get rid of it right fucking now? And that's I would. That one? I would. Get rid of the fucking thing. We don't have it. Oh, here we go. No, we don't have it. Here we go. We don't have it. Here we fucking okay, go. go. Make yourself clear. Stop asking such okay. ridiculous questions. Come over here don't and tell it. me it's crispy. Are you that stupid? So don't fucking serve the thing, right? Whose restaurant is it? It's my restaurant. Then and I'm ask asking for fucking, fucking responsible. Help. I'm asking for fucking help. Then wake up. You wake up. Idiot. You fucking come in here and help me instead of running your jaw. Look at that. Just touch that. I wouldn't serve that to my dog. What did they tell you? I didn't tell you don't serve it. And I didn't know why we're doing it. Sam, you're in charge, and you're serving raw chicken. I'm amazed that you're still open. Why are you serving? The outside is cooked. So I'm figuring the inside is cooked. Yes, you're chained to the business. Yes, you don't want to be here. But you cannot serve that shit and expect to get away with it. Those kids drive me crazy, man. All what you want, finish the order and sit down. That's not where I can't even have time to sit down. What are you talking about? Oh, it's my kid's fault they do this. It's my kid's fault because of that. He don't listen. He doesn't care. When really it's his decision to keep us all here, he brought that upon himself. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Here. That's it. This is the last place. This is cruel all night long. Thank you, guys. Yeah, stay seated and tell them thank you. That was stupid. Oh, stay seated. Look who's talking. You're standing right there. Right there what, what? on your phone. What That's else are you stupid. doing? Get up. That's what I thought. Are you paying me? Are you my boss? 
You're stupid. Don't tell me what to do. You're stupid. This is fucking annoying, I swear. No damn break out of head. Oh, here comes the stars of the night. It's my dad's restaurant. I don't have to do nothing. I can do whatever I want whenever I want. Oh, stop. Stop. Enough. You're stupid. You have a big mouth. Yeah, keep talking. Shut Seriously. your mouth. Shut up. Fucking idiot. Dumbass. Yeah. Oh, Some fucking good. waitress. Garbage. Look who's talking. Yeah. I'm, I'm garbage. You're Please, more than you garbage. Doing as much as I can I take another dumpster stop. right now. It looks clearer than your face. Good Shut enough, up. Huh? Do nothing around here now. All of a sudden, you act like you own the place. You can't have the damn customer right. You can't take it, or you can't bring back drinks right. Let alone help the yeah, customers. Yeah. Okay, well, get, you inside, get inside. Get inside. You're useless. You You're useless. Until then, get out shut of my up. face. We can even run the food out and check the tables better than you, you guys can. At right. the same time, cook your food right, and then you can serve it. No. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, we waited like an hour and a half. We never I know. Pizza that we never got. You guys are full of shit. Yeah, I tell her not to do it. Never got our pizza. I never got this. My fucking ass. Stop the red pepper ravioli. Stop the it's ready. epic. Sammy. Stop it. They're leaving. I don't care. I am not going to do this. Stop it. Fuck them. Stop what? It's in the Stop. oven. We're ready on one pizza. It's coming now. It's coming now. Now. You keep saying that. You've been saying that for an hour. Look at him. He's like, where's my pizza? <laughs> really? Send him home. Yeah, you have a pizza, it's coming. You want to wait, you wait. You don't want to pay what you have, and you fuck off from here. Do you understand? Sammy? Do you understand? You fuck yourself. Go out, you motherfucker. Are you fucking kidding me? No, you are. Don't speak like this. Go out. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I fucking call fuck you. Sammy, call the police. Shut up, police. I'll call the police. I'll fuck you, pay and go. Call Stop. Call Stop. Call Stop. Call Stop. Call Stop. Call you have drinks. Are they for real? What is it mean? I'm in the office. Don't call the police, you crazy. Where's the pizza? It's in the oven. He can suck it. You pay. You don't go. You, if you touch a I fucking, you go from me if I told you. You go. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. I'm fuck you. Not kidding you. I fuck you. Call the police. Pay the money. No, I want the money from him. I am calling the police. You guys are fucking crazy. No, he's just calling the police. I know, but hey, you're not touching him. Get away. Motherfucker, you are. Fucking piece of shit. You piece of shit. You are a little pansy. Get out of here. Don't you ever come back here. You little weenie. Keep walking. Fuck you. Give me a break. This is, you guys, I make excellent food. You motherfuckers, you all, think that you can come in here and say these things. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I... Uh, it's salmon. That's just marinated in, it's like an Italian dressing. Oh, dear. What's this? Oh. Seafood restaurant on the water. Tuna and dyed pink to make it look authentic. Look at it. My god. Unbelievable. And here we have. That looks like the mushroom risotto. Great risotto. Unbelievable. Alarmed by the state of the kitchen, Gordon is anxious to take the staff on a tour. Good morning. There's something I want to show you guys, yeah? Come with me. Come in. The general hygiene of this fridge is a fucking joke. All right, come round. Walking round, want to get up to speed, looking at the ingredients, checking. What is that? Is that just taken from the steam table and dumped on the trolley and then whisked yes, in the air? That's exactly what it is. That should be straight in the trash. Hey, I ate here yesterday. Yeah. I'm not happy. Whoever's responsible, 40 years in the business, well experienced, you have to seriously start opening your eyes. This place is not right here. We got no chance. I did not know that was going on. Item after item. Oh. I was pissed. What's this here? I um, believe it's beef tips. Beef bits in blood. That's nasty. I need some answers, AJ. It's pretty terrible, and uh, you know a lot of it lies on AJ. There's no excuse for it. And that's the that's the classic of the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a risotto. Take a good look. Unfortunately, it's not a drawing. That's real serious shit at its best. It's a joke. Look at the fucking colour of the chicken. AJ, come have a look at it. Yeah, no, okay. You've got to see it, AJ. I do see it. My father doesn't want to deal with the back of the house. The back of the house is falling apart. That's my frustration. I'm sorry, but it's not right. It's got to be somebody's responsibility. I'm not going to take responsibility. It's the owner's fault. Why would I blame myself for that? I'm not going to blame him for that. Unbelievable. Trusting my dad is obviously not working. Look at where all our money is gone. I'm really oh, mad right now. Why is it bubbling? Because it's old. That's yeah. gross. Yeah, we'll get rid of all of it. No, 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 no. Nick, I know you're busy. Yeah. I'm fucking shitting myself now. 
I feel when, you know, things aren't going good, I, I just as soon get out, you know, just move on to the next thing. Yeah, where's Brian? I know you want to run away from it. I'm not running no, away. No, I can't run away from it. Yeah, I've just been watching and fucking shitting myself for the last hour. What are you doing to people? Give me an answer! You know, we can't oversee everything we assume that... OK, know. take me down to the fridge. I want to see how you fucking really work. I cannot believe that this is how you guys are running a restaurant. In my head, I was thinking, we're going to be screwed. That's what in there? That's the walk-in freezer. That's the freezer. That's the walk-in freezer. Look at the mess here. What's this here? Bacon. Yeah, obviously, bacon smiles. That's from lunch. Yeah. Yeah, five years ago. You leave a spatula in there like that. I'm sorry. Nah, fuck off. I cannot believe what you guys are doing here. There was so much going on. My head was spinning. My head was going to explode. I, I, I thought to myself, this is a disaster. What's that in there? Shit, that didn't get put on. Oh, my god. I don't know what the fuck oh, that's all fuck about. Oh, my god. Oh, no. This is not good. Raw chicken. That should never happen. You know, should... Oh, my god. Chris, it's fucking chicken against raw chicken. It's, it's fucking. Hey, panini head, are you listening to me? Yes. You're going to kill someone. I'm eating here. Partners, partners in crime. You should be ashamed. We are ashamed. You've just contaminated the town. And Nick, Nick, yeah. stop. Yeah, everybody. Right now, this is not a romantic eat out. This is a Valentine fucking massacre. It's a disgrace. How can you do this? I'm closing the place down. Switch it off. This is shocking. When was the last time this was clean inside? My goodness, me. Look at that. The floor is caked with grime. Oh, Christ. Oh, my God. <coughs> when was the last time this was clean? Bloody hell. Oh. Christ almighty. What on earth is that? Oh, the smell. You know what you do wrong? You should take more, take control. more control of these guys, and I feel that you don't. If you want me to take the control, don't go second guess me about anything that I do. Right behind there. Oh my god. Shit. Look at that there. That is mouse or rat droppings. Oh my god. A couple of hours ago, I was feeling slightly embarrassed for them, slightly concerned in a big way. But now, when a chef let go of his kitchen like this, it proves he doesn't care. I want to be more involved in the business end of things. Forget the business aspect. Well, and your portion is the hosting portion. Hi there. Yeah. Yeah. I was going back to the hotel, couldn't sleep, had a look in the kitchen, and I am absolutely fucking how can you do that? And when that is? Say that again. What is that? What is that? Come here. Anthony, how can you cook in this? When was the last time this was cleaned? The kitchen? Well, we try to do it on a daily basis. I mean... What? Have you seen under there? Underneath? Underneath here. Joseph, would you mind having a look? I don't think you've actually seen this. Down there. I see it. Look at that! Oh, God. Please, Anthony, talk to me. Give me some form of feedback. Don't bullshit me. Give me something, please. Well, they're asked to do it every day, the staff. They're what? They're asked to do it every day. We're on our ass with half a million dollars debt, and you're telling me now that you don't even clean. Well, that's what we have staff for, right? Oh, my God! What's this, then? What's that on there? The droppings. They're not fucking caraway seeds. I wasn't unaware of that. Couldn't imagine it was been that bad. From the surface, everything looks nice and nice. When you start digging, 
I can't, just can't believe it. Isn't this your bedrock? Isn't this where it's all created from? You can't create jack shit from here. I swear to God, I don't think you give a fuck. You should be absolutely ashamed. Chef Ramsay came in like a bat out of hell and again just whipped the living crap out of me. There's only so much you, you could do or say. So why, Anthony? Give me something, please. Oh, my goodness, yeah, I love you. Come up with an answer, Anthony. Otherwise, I'm fucking out of here. I swear to God, I am fucking out of here. I can't take much more of this shit. Where do you find that? I found them in the fucking fridge. Smell them. Vic, look, let me just show you something. What is that? I'm getting nervous now. Talk to me. What is this? That's the fish we're using. That's the fish you're using? Oh, fuck me. Smell that in there. Is this today's fish? No, um, no. The fish, that was really scary because it was smelling bad already. I just couldn't believe it. Where's Patty? Yeah? Have a look at this. Oh, my God. What, look how crispy and curled up it is. Just touch that. Oh, it, it, it's, like, solidified. What's this here? This is tank tin. Why is it all wrapped up in tinfoil? Look at the colour of it. It's oxidised. And what's that in there? It's pieces of pork. That's pork. What have you done to it? Why is it all stuck in there with blood at the bottom of the tray? Why is that? How old is this stuff? Yesterday. Yesterday? He said Friday. Look at that. Oh, my God. <laughs> When's all this from? Friday. He took it out Friday. Oh. Everything's Friday. Look, let me just show you something. Look how green and slimy it is. That's from Friday. Look. Look at that. That's from Friday. Look at my fingers. Friday. Look. Look. There you go. That's from Friday. How do you say this in Spanish? This is not healthy. No muy saludable. Thank you. What is going on in here? A hungry cat would walk away from that. I was mortified. I felt embarrassed for letting this go on for so long. While customers in the dining room continue to eat subpar food, Chef Ramsay's kitchen investigation intensifies. What is going on here? What's that? The burrito. What's that one? The chicken enchiladas. Oh, how? Oh, my God. What's that? That was the ground beef. Ground beef? Half of it's fucking fat, you idiot. It's fatter than you! I felt satisfied that finally somebody called him out on his bullshit. Oh, shit! What's that? The bean. Oh, how? It's like a cement mixer. Are you fucking stupid? Who's controlling this? I am, Chef. You are. You are a walking disaster. Now I'm feeling like, like stupid. Lift it up. The fridge is full of shit. It, it's disgusting. I wasn't here on Saturday, but what were they expecting? Fucking 10,000 customers for lunch? Paddy, I'm fucking disgusted. Yolanda, that's a joke. I understand. I don't want people to get sick, and I don't want them to spread the word that food is bad here. You're overstaffed, underworked, shit food. I wouldn't trust you running a bar let alone a fucking restaurant. You must be out of your tiny mind. I don't care for your restaurant. I want to take that out there. I dare you, take it out there. Go on, give it to them. Yeah, there you go. It's with me. Look at me. Why wouldn't you take it out there? That's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Why are you serving it? You don't fucking care. Why? Why? Because you're serving that and trying to charge people money for that. That's why you don't care. I care for You this. don't care shit. No fucking way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry, but we're stopping service. I would love to get my hands on Gordon. This is my daughter-in-law, Melissa. Melissa, this hello. Is Jason's hey, wife, my son, Brian. Chef, how are you? Are you well? The first time I saw him when he came in, I was definitely a little skeptical. I do my own thing back here, and I'm very content with that. So let's start with Carol. What's the problem? We have problems with staff. 
We have problems with Brian. Uh, okay. He's uh, a bit arrogant and a lot arrogant. Because I, I say what needs to be said, and you Peter people don't want to hear it. Too bad. That's not true. We're here to make money. Yeah. And if you're not going to do your job, get out. I'm sorry, Brian, but it you does stem. It, it's, it stems from him because he won't listen to Buddy. An example like Valentine's Day. I wanted him to do a nice Valentine's Day menu. He didn't see the need for it because we're an Irish pub. He didn't think anybody come in for an Irish pub for Valentine's Day. It's half the years. About it. It's half the years. It's the night before Valentine's Day. Well, and they say, we want to do a place. It wasn't the night before. Wait, wait, wait. It's not true. Wait, it's not true. 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 It's not Oh, boy. Right now, I'm hungry. I want to taste the food, and let's meet after, shall we? I was pretty nervous. I wonder what he's going to see. I wonder if we're going to get really blasted, <laughs> you know? There's our lunch Love. menu. Thank you. I'm like, I'm about to serve Chef Ramsay. Like, this is so cool. The clams, are they fresh clams? Um, honestly, it's frozen. Mm. I'll start with the, uh... Fin the spring roll, please. Good choice. Thank you. Could I go for the salmon as well, please, darling? For main course, I'll have a shepherd's pie, please, I think. OK. Thank you, Melissa. You're welcome. <coughs> I, l I want to see you and Ramsay uh, chug. Chug. Yeah, yeah. Oh, smoke. Tuck him in the bed. Good night, chef. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a very confident person, and I've been in the kitchen for a long time. I'm almost positive we'll get a good review. When you get a family business right, it goes on for generations. And here, it doesn't feel like a family-run business at all. Pubs are full of atmosphere, fun. It's got tweed neck curtains, like you're going to visit your granny. Weird. Here you are, some spring rolls with Coleman's mustard. Wow. Go on. Very strange, bizarre looking spring roll. Uh, are they popular on the menu? Um, people really like them. No doubt half the customers are drunk. This is the tough half hour of my life. Not a big hit. You like it? No. Brian's in the kitchen, like wondering. I'm just like, nope. Are you kidding me? He really thought that. I was going to walk back there and be like, he loved it. You know, he, he wants you to come work for him. Come on. Let me try that one. Let me get you some clean silverware. Thank you. Go on. And what's this stuff with, please, uh, Melissa? On top is a balsamic reduction. He likes to use that a lot. He likes that, doesn't yes, he? Yes, he does. Huh? He On everything, he puts a little drizzle on. A little? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Always the sign of a very insecure chef when he macerates everything in balsamic vinegar. Look at this. Ah, horrible. Doesn't taste of salmon at all. Off through? Does my shepherd's pie have any balsamic vinegar? No. Good. Lovely. I don't even think he likes the water. I feel like inviting my grandma for lunch. Could you not have got a bigger basket? I feel sorry for that poor, lonely bread roll in there. But let me just have a look at it before you serve it. Yeah. Oh. Christ, I feel like saying a prayer. So, um... A lunch menu and a dinner menu. Ooh, have... Baby mince greens with sunflower seeds, dried cranberries and Montrachet cheese. God, is there anything plain on here, Jane? I, I think it's all good. Thank you for that. Is the crab fresh? No, it's canned. It's canned? Mm -hmm. We'll can that one, then. Baby spinach salad with strawberries, goat's cheese, asparagus, hard-boiled egg and grilled garlic shrimp. Strawberries and shrimps? Mm-hmm. I'll start with that, please, as my appetizer. Absolutely. I've got to think about a chef's perception of food when he starts to put strawberries with fresh garlic shrimps. We'll see how he likes it. He's a customer. Customer is almost always right. Dear God, for what we're about to receive, may the Lord not kill me with food poisoning. Mm. Oh, Jesus. That's disgusting. I'll wait for the next course. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah. Sadly, the uh, prawns are uh, stone cold and undercooked. OK. Uh, yeah, prawns are undercooked and cold. When he sent the first dish back, 
I knew that we were going to have a little problem. Yeah, I wrote for stuff for AFP, stuff for Pink. Thank you. OK, bon appetit. Big, dirty, greasy chip plate and, like, a big, overgrown ball of pubic hair. Deep fat fried. I'm fucked if I'm eating that shit, that's for sure. As tough as old boots. Fine if you're a fucking rabbit. How was your steak? Um, carrots were raw. Steak was tough. Um, and that was just a big ball of grease. Um, the play was interesting. Especially with the chip. Gordon gave us a scathing review. Thank you. It's lazy, it's dirty, and it's just bad. I mean, really crap. Your carrots were raw. Your steak was tough, and your uh, shoestring potatoes was a big ball of grease. Big ball of grease? Nightmare in Grandma's house. Fuck me. Thank God she's dead. Michelle definitely does not respond to criticism. He likes to be the man. You seem proud of that food. You seem quite... Yeah, I like it. You like I, it? Yeah, I think it's good. I mean, don't take this personally. Yes. I thought your food was crap. Tasteless, bizarre. Your food was long-winded, boring, and just, you know, badly done. Honestly, I've never seen anyone talk to Michelle in the way Ramsey talked to him. As a waitress, I don't get complaints about the food. The only complaint I might get is uh, a food cold. Jane, I'm not asking you to blow smoke up his asshole. I've just sat there for the last hour and had one of the worst meals I've ever eaten. That's a matter of opinion. God. You know, not Are you that arrogant. fucking arrogant? A matter of opinion. Not, not being that arrogant. If you're such a passionate chef, then you are a natural because you're French and yes. you, know, uh -huh. you love cooking. Yes. Why are you serving tin crab meat? Um, tin crab, the main reason is because the restaurant is quiet. I buy fresh crab, goes bad really fast, so I have to buy this, uh, this crab. Uh, I, 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 I'm trying to get inside your mind so I can start breaking down okay. how stupid you are. I don't think he likes Michelle. I've never heard such a complex menu in my entire life. Probably not. OK, um, OK, I'm going to start with some um, calamari. Calamari? Yes. Um, they're fresh? Yes, it is. Small portion of calamari. OK. Um, Chef Gordon questioned the, the quality of the calamari. Uh, my calamari is fresh. And then for um, my entree, I'd like to have a New York strip. OK. Can you make me a little uh, fresh pizza? What you type decide. of pizza would you, you like? You, you, you I'll decide. decide, yeah? Perfect. Thank you. Lou, set me up a small dough, please. And what's your name? Sonia. Sonia. Good Hi. to see you. Nice to meet uh, you. What do you do? Um, I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yes, I am. Ah. Put her up! Do you play with Sebastian? Because he's an actor. Oh, no. Oh, OK. I have it. And the calamari. Uh, are they fresh or are they frozen? They are frozen. Frozen. told me they're fresh, and they're not fresh, they're frozen. That confirms two things. Shit chef, and a dishonest one. Can I get you anything? No. A sick bag? He asked me for a sick bag, which I was, didn't know what to say, so I was like, OK. <laughs> oh, God. He said that he wanted a puke bag. Excellent. Fantastic. I didn't know what to say, though. You're not saying anything. OK. You say yes, sir, and walk away. OK. No problem. OK. Sebastian, just you could tell in his face that he wasn't very happy with the comment. I understand the guy's a professional, but to say something like that, a sick bag, come on. This is the house speciality? Um, yes. Yes, and what kind of pizza is it? What flavor? It's a Popeye pizza. Popeye? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Hey. Hey. So I got the chef here, Chef Gordon Ramsay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's in the dining room eating. Oh, really? Yeah. He, uh, he thinks my food is terrible. He thinks your food is terrible? Yep. The waitress asked, can I get you anything else? He said, yeah, sick bag. Oh, sure. Yeah. I don't agree with his opinion. Uh, throw him out. Ah, uh, <laughs> throw him out. Yeah. Yeah. With two wood-burning ovens there, I thought at least they would be able to 
be in a position to do a, a stunning pizza, but the base is soggy, it's all watery. Surely to Christ they make a fresh pizza dough here. Sonia. I want you to play it to him, and I want you to say, as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. Manja? Yes. And as Sebastian's mother would say, manja. My God. It's very difficult to manja without yes, my knife and fork. Of course, I'm sorry. I should have brought you a clean one. You've got the part. Thank Relax. You. OK. It looks like a can of dog food. What an embarrassment to New York strip steak. Just chopped and cooked to how everything's under seasoned. Enough canned pet food for today. I thought this was fine dining. So did I. So did <laughs> I'll wait for the next course. OK. Chicken nachos? Ooh, God, that was quick. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Enjoy. God, who's that shouting at? What, 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 what? Our executive chef, Ricky. Look at them diamonds on that. Diamonds on my fish, good. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish, good. Diamonds on my fish. You have an executive chef in the house? Yes. And he buys in processed food? So what? Yes. Ah. Diamonds on my fish. Diamonds on my fish. We got diamonds on the fish. I'm good at my job. I love my recipes. I let my work speak for itself. Fine dining nachos. Something's not quite right. How is everything? Uh, yeah, really weird. Are they fresh nachos or are they bought in? Uh, the chef makes them fresh in the morning. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they were made fresh this morning, my darling. Ricky, when did you make the tortilla chips? Oh, uh, yesterday. I'm about to walk home right now. The nachos, like, it was the cheapest thing he's ever seen. The fuck can you do with nachos? You know what I mean? What they call them nachos. That's why it's an appetizer, you know? Oh, God. The rack of lamb with the chocolate mint sauce. There's fresh mint, chocolate syrup. I like it. I got to be really creative with it. Damn, that looks good. God, it's so quick. OK. Where's the lamb? No, no, not that. Where's the lamb? Ah. Uh... Look. My knife's bigger than my lamb. <laughs> From what we're about to eat, may the Lord make us truly not vomit. It's going to be a long day. Could you ask the chef, is the <clears throat> lamb frozen? Yes. Oh, the lamb is frozen? Yes. And he's just taking bites of stuff. Is this frozen? And I'm like, yeah. Is there any main course that's on the fine dining menu that's not frozen? Sad to say, but no. They're, everything is frozen. OK. Um, do you know what? I'll skip any further frozen food and maybe have a nice, fresh dessert, please. OK. I'm hungry. I'm starving. I haven't fucking eaten anything yet. Yeah, you know, he shot everything down pretty much, you know, but that's one person's opinion, you know? And he's entitled to it. So that's that. And what would you recommend for dessert? There you go. For the dessert, I would recommend the brownie a la mode. Brownie? The brownie a la, a la mode. mode. And he was like, Put your hand up and swear to God that it's a brownie that's made, homemade, from here. OK. All right, let's go with the brownie. OK. Wow. What a shame. When you first arrive and you're excited about coming in to eat somewhere, and then half the menu missing, 90% of it's frozen, and uh, chocolate mint sauce with bones of lamb. There was a big-ass pan in here full of fucking brownies. I go in there, and there's no more homemade brownies. Buzzard! I don't know what happened to the brownies. I didn't do it. Don't ask the buzzard. I don't know. Does anybody know what happened to that big thing of brownies that were in there? They're gone. When? A couple of days ago, why? They were just in there like three days ago. It irritates the living daylights out of me. We should have everything that is on our menu at all times, and we don't. I'm just, I'm gonna quit. Seriously. Fuck that. Don't even talk like that, man. You gonna let one motherfucker just piss you off like that? No, you piss me off because you don't fucking run this shit, man. We should have all this shit. No, it's on the what fucking What the fuck are you media. talking about? You coming back here asking me what's in this, what's in that? You should know that shit already. I know the fucking... All right, then don't fucking ask me shit. No, we don't, we don't, 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 don't got shit now. Don't fuck, all right, then don't fucking blame it on me. Up. You shut the fuck okay. up. Two, two, two.
tonight. I'm nervous that Chef Ramsay may not think that the restaurant is running efficiently. I really hope that the staff hold it together and that they shine. What can I get you to? You got it. And for you, sir? I'll take the uh, chicken. All right. I'll put that in for you guys. Thank you. I would say that the ticket times are not even five minutes for entree. I cook really fast. Hey, food! Chile relleno, por favor. Normally, can we have this fast? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Rose con miscos. Chili relleno. There we go. Is that chicken taco? Yeah, I'm not dealing with my soups. Tiene ramica. It's quicker than the drive through isn't it? Pretty much. Mm. There you go. With food flying out of the kitchen at an incredible pace. Three minutes. The kitchen staff now has time to socialize. Miguel, you want to open the copetito and all that to get out or what? Look. Have you cleared the board? All the tickets gone? Yeah. Wow, so just standing here for the next couple of minutes. I can't believe how fast the food comes out. It's like a conveyor belt. Is, Is that, that bad? It depends on quality. Okay. While the customers may appreciate the fast service, oh, here comes my shrimp. they are not appreciating the food. It's kind of dry. Dry? I mean, it's not like I would come back to this. No, I know, obviously. Stop, stop, stop. The only thing that's missing here is a drive through I'm pissed. He's telling me that all my food is shit. It's very frustrating when I don't know how to do it another way, because this is all that I know. That is unbelievable. This has to be the fastest serving restaurant in America tonight. But it's not really a restaurant. It's a fast food factory. What a joke. On the heels of a ridiculously fast dinner service, bye-bye. Chef Ramsay suspects that shortcuts are being taken in the kitchen. Wow, fast, man. So it's time for a little investigation. What are those? Tamales. Oh, the tamales. Yeah. They're the frozen. Ah. So these are your chimichangas. Are they frozen as well? Yeah, frozen. Wow. When was all this made? Two months. Oh, my God. Can you get me Laura, please? Yes, yes, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. What? Come around, come around. Don't run, not in the kitchen. Here's the thing. You're serving chicken that was cooked nearly two months ago. You're frosting it and then reheating it. And are you wondering why it's dry? Were you aware of this or? This is what we did for catering. Unbelievable. That may be why the place is struggling. Where are the freezers? The freezers there. Oh my god. Tortillas. I hope everything's right in there, the shelving and all the food. Oh, my God. You're joking, aren't you? Look at all this stuff here. Bloody hell. This is unbelievable. Look at that. This is what we did for catering. You must have hundreds of portions of stock here. He just kept grabbing and grabbing and stacking my arms with it. All this pre-cooked pre-rolled, frozen, then defrosted. It's just absolutely appalling. This is not a restaurant. You are mad. I've got to wash my hands. Fucking stink. I have a man back there tripping everything apart, telling me, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. When somebody takes something that you have and butchers it, it hurts. Hi, welcome to Sushi Girl. I'll take you back to your table. Yeah. What can I get for you? Spicy tuna, rice cracker. We're going to do sushi, OK? Bust it out, man. Why all these things got burns on them? You, you, you don't buy them by that, do you? Why are they burnt? We reuse them sometimes. You what? We wash them, clean them, and then use them again. I can't believe this is happening. I wash the stick, and everything is clean. What's the program? Where's Lisa? I, uh, no, Kira, don't run away like a snake. OK. I've just scraped dried chicken off these. We're cutting oh. cloth. There's bits of food on there. Do you, do you think this is right? Um... Just feel how sticky that is on the end. That's food being wiped off it. It's 45 minutes into service, 
and Sushiko is doing what, unfortunately, it does best, disappointing its customers. It's a little scary looking. Okay, guys, I said I don't like the tempura. I said it's way overcooked, and the bat is just really doughy. Thank you. Lisa, it's coming back. It's doughy, and that's not tempura broccoli. It's mushy, yeah. It's good. Stop the broccoli. Take it off. Yeah, don't even, it. like, do tempura yeah. anymore. Why cause more damage? Is that fryer hot enough? Does it work properly, uh, the fryer temperature? I, actually, that's a great question. It doesn't look like it's hot enough. It's not blasting it. No. Uh, that's scary. That's a nightmare piece of the equipment that probably isn't holding the temperature because it's getting old. Just like me. <laughs> uh, Lisa, here, look at all this. Oh, the spicy mayo? So you don't keep mayonnaise in the fridge? No. That's not required for refrigeration. What? That's I had. Refrigerate yeah. after opening. Feel how warm that is. Maybe, yeah. And how long has that been staying outside for? It, Truthfully. Always staying outside, spicy for, mayonnaise. For four years? Yes. This is a Japanese health hazard. This is about you running your restaurant properly. And you're not. Oh, my God. What's this fridge for? It's warm in here. And this fridge is on 50. Does this work in this fridge? Well, it broke down. When did it break down? A couple of months ago. I don't have the money to fix, so. So we've, we've got big containers of ice. Yes. To keep the ingredients cold. Well, just the vegetable we keep it here. Vegetable? We've got dairy, you've got oh, eggs here. That, that's a mistake. Never chicken beef here, look at me. Well, sometimes they make a mistake Why when we don't put back. I'm not lying to you. I care. You could kill somebody. Chef Ramsay is ready to give his input, but this owner doesn't appear ready to listen. Let's start from the top, shall we? Sure, let's start. The salmon? Yeah. Yeah, hideous. The decoration with the cucumber. Everybody loves that salad. Who's everybody? The restaurant's yeah. empty. OK, the snapper, bitterly disappointed. It was macerated in crap and mozzarella and didn't even taste of snapper. That's bullshit. Yeah, you didn't taste the snapper with the mozzarella on top? What's wrong with that? I asked Michael to make sure that you tasted it. I'm not going to eat something off your plate. You are a piece of work, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I am. When people talk bullshit about my food, yeah, Sorry. that pisses me off. Where's Michael? What difference does it make where fucking Michael is? He's got nothing to do he with it. He tasted it. And what did he say? He said it was mush. Are you fucking kidding me? Where is he? I don't like being criticized at all. Maybe he's talking out of his bum, as they say in, in England. You said the fucking fish was mush? No, it was tender the way everybody else enjoyed it. Yeah, it was tender. Michael, are you honestly trying to tell me that you're now saying that it was perfectly cooked? Soggy. Should be baked a little longer. It was a little bit on the softer side. A little bit on the softer right. side. I'm not expecting you to stand there and stick up for me, but trust me, the food was overcooked and it was bland and mush. But there's nothing wrong with that snapper. I think it was very foolish and very hard-headed that she wouldn't listen. I was like, oh, what are you doing? What's with the defense mechanism? <laughs> oh, my God. Huh? Don't you get defensive if somebody comments about your food like that? I don't cook shit like that. Yeah. When was the last time a customer complained about the food? Yeah. Well, last night. Mm -hmm. And what did they say? It was bland. And were they right or were they wrong? No, they were right. But you're off the wall with what you're saying. Here's the difference between you and me. I listen for feedback. You can't handle it. I came here because you asked me to come and help you. And your reaction to me telling you something quite constructive in a very calm manner is a joke. OK, so you want me to be your fucking puppet? Why are you because, shouting? Because you're Why? pissing me the fuck off. So shut the fuck up and talk properly. Is this the way you react when I'm not here? Is this a normal procedure when it is, yeah? Oh, you're going to get your fucking ass kicked. Oh, there you go. Madam, you have an attitude problem. I'm not too sure which is worse. The food or the attitude? Ooh, can I hit him now? Uh, you know, a lot of people said you were a jerk. I think I believe it. Anything else? Fuck this. No fucking way. What a sad case. Am I supposed to run after him and say, oh, please come and help me? Well, fuck you. He's lucky I didn't hit him with something. I was that close.
In spite of his rude welcoming, Gordon decides to give Cece another chance and returns to the restaurant to observe Cece and her staff in action during a dinner service. Right, so, what do you keep in here? Tartufos, our gnocchi. And who makes the gnocchi? Uh, we used to make them ourselves, but we buy them now. They look definitely frozen. And what are these little babies Meatballs. here? Meatballs. They're a little uh, overcooked. Jesus Christ. And when they're that overcooked, would you serve them? We can't just throw them away. They smell like cat food. Cat food? That smells like an authentic meatball to you. Well, I don't have cats, so I don't know what cat food smells like. Oh are we going to be able to cook, or are you going to keep busting my balls? I swear to God, I'm not here to get cross-examined by you. Let's get that right, yeah? There's only one person who's going to be fucking losing out on this, and it's certainly not me, OK? Well, don't fuck with me. I really want to prove to him that pig-headed British jerk that I can do it. Nice. My name is Julie. I'll be your server this evening. Gentlemen, have you decided? I really don't know. Something Danish, obviously. The grandfather duck. I'm going to have the wiener system, please. Working in beer for wine, Danish chicken and wiener. I need Cindy, please. Just 30 minutes into service, and a number of entrees have left the kitchen. Ta -da! Perfection. That's what you got. Dinner's ready. So clearly, speed is not a problem at Fleming. They're pretty awful. However, satisfying customers is. How is everything? This isn't so good. Pardon? This isn't so good. I'm not going to eat that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Take this away. Thank you. I appreciate it. What's wrong with that? Wiener Sissel, she said it was very bland. Let's put it this way. We won't be coming back. Don't lie. Thank you. I couldn't even look at that and eat it. It's thick and bland. You bland too? Bland, yeah. It just doesn't taste very good. OK, I let him know. 53 hated this. OK, OK. What didn't he like about this? He just said he hated it. He said he can't eat it. Oh, I'll bring you the menu, ma'am, so you can choose something else, and I'll get you another pignoli salmon. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Oh, no, come on. This is mushy. Andy is absolutely afraid of change. He's tried to keep the tradition, and I think it's time to move on. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. I need some extra salt so the fish is too dry. What a disaster. Come on. No way, no way. Oh, jeez. It's a non-stop parade of food being returned to the kitchen. You know that? Yes. Almost everything coming back was bland, doesn't taste well, doesn't taste good. What's going on with it? It was very bland, no flavor. Three items. Oh, fuck. Those dishes were all Danish style. Items that have been there for 25 years. Can I get you something else to eat? You're just eating bread. That's not going to help. Chicken was totally bland. I don't see how anything can get worse at this point. While Andy tries to pacify unhappy diners, I can make something like uh, coconut shrimp very quickly, crab cakes. Chef Ramsay has seen enough of the kitchen in action. He's heard the complaints about the food and knows that many of the problems are not caused by cooking alone. Holy mackerel. Ay, 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 ay. But by what is lurking in the storage unit. What the fuck? Oh, mashed potatoes, piping hot. This is unbelievable. Andy, Suzanne, come in here. Oh, God. Orlando, I know you're busy there, big boy. I just need you for 30 seconds, please. Yeah, I'll be quick. Come with me. So this is for raw meats, yes? And here we've got some... What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. No, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. There was one duck on a tray with meat that was thawing, and the duck was in the meat juice. Cooked duck and defrosting meat. Look at it there, so who put the ducks there then? Ah, oh, fuck. We've been selling duck. Stop the kitchen, everybody! I need all the ducks off the table and stop them eating it. Probably. They have discontinued the duck. No, just for the seating, for... no, no duck. But table 61 had duck. Is that the duck? Yes. I'm so sorry. I'll explain in two seconds. Do excuse me. It was embarrassing to have Chef Ramsay literally take the duck from in front of the gentleman and okay. tell everybody no duck. Fucking hell. Have you served anybody duck? I've served about eight. Stop! We're not serving another fucking duck out there. We just contaminated the whole fucking place. 